<coughs> in this section of video, we have completed all of the sensor lines and have wires exposed to be able to plug them in. And I'm going to show you how we're going to go about actually plugging them into the sensor array, the patch bay for them. They're pretty much, uh, they're going to go into these European style terminal connectors. And so what that is, is just a tube of metal with two screws on either end. And when you screw, you put, uh, you put two wires on either side and bolt them down with the screws and it connects them. So we already have the lines ran from the Arduino to one side of the terminals. So we're just going to take our sensor lines, put them into the other side of the Euro connectors and bolt them down pretty much. So the way that we ran the patch bay was we have a line coming from the Arduino right here that's uh, a certain color, doesn't matter what it is, it may be different on your setting, but it's gonna supply out VN into three terminals. We have another one right here that's supplying ground out to three terminals. And so we put three on each one of those just because there's a lot of stuff that uses VN, like the moisture sensors and uh, also your relay shield and stuff like that. Uh, so there's lots of stuff that uses VN. That's VN is coming off the Arduino. That's the voltage input off of this power cable right here uh, off the power strip. And so the power cable going into the Arduino is nine volts. I forget the amperage, but it's a nine volt uh, plug-in going into the Arduino so the voltage in or the VN pin is going to be handing out that same voltage 9 volts so inside of this uh, VN Euro connection you know you're going to be handing out 9 volts and the ground of course you're going to be handing out ground that comes from the Arduino and then we have one two three four five regular uh, sensor lines ran these just run uh, these are for the moisture sensor, so they run straight to the Arduino's analog to digital ports. And then um, the way that we're going to plug those in with this moisture sensor is going to be through the blue line, the signal line. And of course that corresponds to the blade right here, the black out we, we uh, soldered to the blue. So your blue line right here is your output going to your analog. The red here is going to be your VN that wants 9 volts. Uh, it can operate on several different voltages by the way, but we're going to run it through VN so that it doesn't pull through the Arduino. Lightens the amperage through the Arduino's integrated, uh, uh, or the IC chip that distributes electricity throughout the Arduino. And then your green right here is just going to be routed into a green line. So these right here are going to be the ground uh, the VNs these are going to be the grounds signal 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 for the moisture and then this is the 3.3 volt coming in right here and then you have your voltage divider going out to the thermistor so here will, the thermistor will plug in right here and another thermistor will plug in right here and the analog signals for the two thermistors will come out in the middle right here in the middle of this voltage divider. The circuitry for this of course is in the documentation and there will be more information on the voltage divider and how this produces the analog signal with this 10k ohm resistor. Okay so let's try and hook up one of these uh, one of these moisture sensors. So the red is going to go to your VN. So let's just go ahead and throw in one of Throw it in the VN line. We're just going to screw that down. Alright, so there's one VN. Make it kind of snug, not too snug. And then so. Your green is going to go for ground. Let's give it a ground. So these first three are VN, these next three are ground. Let's go ahead. Put that into a ground slot. Make 
sure that that's pretty secure. And so this blue one right here is your analog out. You're going to want to plug that into one of the analog outs for the sensors. Let's go ahead and plug it into the blue one. So we have the analog hooked up to an analog port. We have the red going into our VN uh, patch bay and we have the green going into our ground patch bay. So the reason that this patch bay is important, of course, as you can see, is you can remove the sensors without having to mess with touching the Arduino, which is uh, pretty annoying to hook up all of these pins over here, as you can see. All of these pins have to run in and they need to be fairly uninterrupted. All right, so that's how you hook up a sensor. I'm gonna go ahead and do it for the rest of them and then run a systems test.